Hi guys, I'm out at Toledo Bend. It's March 19th. I've been out here for four days. It's been a great fishing trip so far. In this episode, you're going to see me catch them on a chatterbait. Uh, before I came out here, I read the post on the Facebook group Toledo Bend Fishing Reports and I saw that people were catching them on the chatterbait, spinnerbait, swim jig, Alabama rig, and um, yeah, my best lure. What I caught most of my fish on over the last four days is this uh, Z-Man half ounce chatterbait with the gold blade, the uh, bluegill pattern with the green pumpkin swim bait. That's, if you get around them, they will kill that thing. They just are really hitting it hard and uh, just got to get in a good area. I've been throwing it pretty shallow in less than five feet of water between trees, around bushes. I've also caught some fish on an Alabama rig, um, just see some bait schooling around the bank, pretty shallow, and just burning the Alabama rig across the top. I've caught a few fish that way. Um, last couple afternoons, I've got onto a Ned rig bite in the grass, just throwing a Ned rig, weedless, in less than one foot of water, and I just caught five or six keepers pretty quickly in this one area. I went back the next day just to check if that was a fluke, uh, but no, they were biting it again. So I don't know if that's the thing. I haven't gotten it to work anywhere else on the lake, but you'll see that in the end of this video. And also in this video, I caught a tagged fish. So before I came out here, I entered the Bass Cash Bash, paid $50 online, came out. A couple days ago, I hooked a tagged fish. Took it up to Toledo Town and Tackle, got the tag out of it, found out it was from 2018. However, I still won a brand new pole and a brand new pair of Costa sunglasses. Pretty cool. BassCashBash.com. I'll put a link up in the top so you can go to their website, check it out. Uh, they've got uh, Toledo, Sam Rayburn, and basically if you catch a tag fish, you get a thousand bucks. If you catch a double digit fish, you also get a thousand bucks, maybe even more. There's a tag for a new Phoenix boat and a tag for a, a Ram pickup truck. So, hope you enjoy the video. If you haven't already subscribed, please click the subscribe button in the lower right hand corner. Thanks for watching. This is Palo Gaucho Creek on the Texas side. It's kind of mid-lake, one of the major creeks on the lake. I'm most familiar with this area. I've fished it a lot over the past couple years. And when I haven't been to the lake in a while, I'll fish a little area right by the boat ramp here just to kind of gauge the fish. I know they're here year round. I've caught them here year round. So it kind of helps me judge how the fish are biting, what they're biting, so that when I leave and I go fish new areas on the lake, I have a little more confidence knowing that I'm throwing the right stuff or that the fish are, are hitting something I'm throwing. Uh, today it's a little bit windy, water temps about 60 degrees, and I'm throwing a chatterbait, pulling it past this little fishing pier, and one's hiding in the shadow. I've been running around the lake checking out some areas and this is uh, over across from Cypress Bend on the main lake just a little tiny creek it's the first fish I hook up with on a spinnerbait it's a three-quarter ounce white spinnerbait with a 4.8 inch white swim bait
All right, here we go. Day two. I'm um, seeing a couple schools of bait fish on the sonar. I've already thrown the spinner bait through this area and the chatter bait. Haven't gotten any bites, so now I've picked up the Alabama rig and I'm throwing it through here. About to hook up with a really decent fish. Took it right at the side of the boat. Uh, water temp today is about 60 degrees in this area. We're just a couple days into a warmer weather pattern that's coming through. Should be consistent, uh, sunny, warm, partly cloudy days for the next uh, five or six days in a row. So expect fishing should start to heat up. This is a couple casts later, I'm still throwing the Alabama rig and about to hook up with another one. Alright, I headed towards the main lake and I stopped off in this creek. I'm fishing a new area. I've never fished this area before. This is a flooded island. The boat's in about three foot of water. I'm on kind of a flat area between another island that's behind me and they're just in these trees. I catch three solid keepers right here and I had the biggest fish of the trip so far jump off I didn't put it in the video but they had a seven or eight pounder jump off uh, coming out of the trees just spit the chatterbait Tagged fish. I got a tagged fish. Hi guys, something pretty cool happened today. I caught a tagged fish yesterday and today I got this uh, brand new falcon rod and a pair of Costa sunglasses from Bass Cash Bash. I entered this last week before I came out here, paid 50 bucks online. And basically if you catch a tagged fish or a double digit bass, 
between March and July 4th, you take it to a way station and you can win a thousand dollars or maybe even more. There's also a tagged fish good for a Phoenix bass boat and a Ram pickup truck. So it's in my video from yesterday. I caught the tagged fish. It was from 2018. Took it to Toledo Town and Tackle and today uh, PD with Bass Cash Bass showed up and gave me this cool pole and these neat sunglasses. So pretty cool deal. I just thought I'd tell you guys about it. It was a pretty cool thing that happened. So I'll get back to fishing and try to catch double digit. Yeah. All right. A big old fat one. Nice. That's what I'm looking for. Big old fat bass. Go get bigger. Woo. That was a fish. Finding them. Alright. This guy's got black spots on his head. Pretty cool. Found a pattern. All right.
I'm talking about. Heck yeah. And that's going to wrap up my first three days of my Toledo trip. My next video should be out in a couple days, and it'll be the last two days I was here. Thanks, everybody, for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. And good luck. I'll see you out there.